Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the third part of the uh, pregnancy or I would say the third trimester of the pregnancy. Now I have already done the first and the second trimester, what happens during these two trimesters. So now we are like to the end of it. So uh, basically what is third trimester is like a non waiting period. You keep waiting, waiting, waiting and you're just waiting and uh, other thing that then the final day just comes. Now what happens in third trimester is basically you will feel more uncomfortable or the discomfort will increase by your belly will be obviously definitely fully grown because your baby is fully grown. Then you will have ankle pains, you will have headaches, you may have sleepless nights you may feel a little uncomfortable while sleeping you feel hungry more hungry than earlier and maybe your food desires will change and then uh your vomitings may increase if you are a person who ends up vomiting and all these things will happen but like th the last trimester is the trimester where you have to be patient and you have to be uh, positive and uh, keep yourself away from all the negative or all the distress or stress which is happening around you because you are already into a life-changing mode your body is like already giving you a lot of discomfort so you need to be strong and uh, gather all the strength around you and just be happy yes it's uh, not easy because i know how it is uh, but then why i'm saying this because things will keep happening around you but then you will be like i'm stuck but then you're not stuck it's just that it's just a temporary or you would say like you know it's like a pass on feeling which will just come and go after the baby is in your hands like the day you deliver and then you'll be like it was worth it so keep yourself calmer obviously the days will come nearer and then you will have a bundle of joy in your hands now um if you have trouble in sleeping uh keep pillows next to your tummy and then sleep because that will support you uh that's a, like a small trick maybe you must be knowing already and um uh, try to sleep on a spacious place if you need more space sleep uh, sleep freely but then just be careful uh, drink lots and lots of water and uh, sleep well if you are sleepy even during the day if you're sleepy just sleep that time don't force yourself to be awake just because that's not the time to sleep no if you're hungry eat but then see what you're eating because apparently yes you may have <coughs> cravings but then you have to have a control over your cravings you just can't be eating every other thing uh in no limit so limit yourself basically and uh, in the third trimester apart from your lifestyle there are certain things like doctors will ask you to do all the checkups again all the tests which you did in your um, first trimester and during your second trimester most of the tests are being done again before the delivery or before the due date just to show be sure like everything is fine every your body is uh, acceptable to certain things or non-acceptable to certain things is your sugar level proper uh, all those things doctors need to check so go to your doctor he or she will definitely ask you to get your test done don't skip your test do your tests on time and show it to the doctor and then accordingly prepare yourself now since you're in your last trimester there are certain things which you have to keep in mind before you going to the hospital now yes in our indian community people say that uh, you should not buy anything before the baby is born i would rather not say this like um uh, See, I'm not saying that I don't believe in this concept, but then if you are all alone and you have a maid and you have a husband or for that matter, even if you have your relatives, uh, the day you will be delivering, everybody will be curious to, you know, uh, be there, be around you and see what is going to happen. So suddenly the baby will be out and then doctor will keep start asking you, can you get the baby clothes? Can you get this? So I'm not asking you to shop for the baby, but at least prepare a small mini bag that for that first event or for the two 
two or three times you have something to just provide instantly instead people that time when family and friends and your husband wants to be with you they are not running to the shopping or they are not running to the market to shop the clothes or the basic things so i would rather recommend you if you can just buy very basic and just keep it aside and tell your mother or mother in law or your husband that you have kept this bag for that day so you are just ready and pack your bag also in advance when you are getting to going to the hospital and you are going to get admitted you should always keep a bag ready for yourself because the day it happens you don't have time to pack your bags for that matter you don't even have time to change so keep a bag ready handy it's important so that's like third trimester is like on the run and you have to be pre prepared yes people will tell you don't buy but like personally i feel you should uh, you can just pre prepare because you're the mother and you're going to be a mother you have to be pre prepared for your child yes i know things are to be considered obviously you're not buying big things you need to have a clothes for your baby you need to have certain basic things for your baby instantly what is required in the hospital because it's not the right time for people to go to the market and run for things because they'll be lost and they'll be into that running situation to so avoid their running situation and to make everybody comfortable or not running here and there this is the best option so that's one thing which i wanted to mention and apart from that go for a it, it's it's a uh, it's a ride you will enjoy and just keep yourself calmer 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 uh i hope uh, you know everyone who is pregnant and who wants to deliver gets a normal delivery but if do your doctor is suggesting you to go for a cesarean there's nothing wrong in it because doctor knows what's best for you if the baby cannot hold for longer then you just go ahead with the cesarean but your doctor will suggest you the best so listen to your doctor that time don't have to listen to anyone because they know your condition much better than anyone else because they know you deep inside within you they know you so they will be the best people to uh, suggest you so i will just wind it up by saying that uh, first second third trimester your whole nine months are very important a uh, lot of people say first trimester is important second is not third is important no your nine months are important for you and for your baby so whatever you do whatever you eat whatever you think whatever your emotions are your baby is definitely taking it from you so be positive keep smiling be happy and just be away from anger short temperedness or anxiety because i feel these three things are the most uh what do you say um emotionally changing effects on a person so you don't want your baby to be short temper or anxious about to things all the time so it's like a very small thing which we neglect which you had which you should keep in mind and just uh, be around good things do what you like eat what you like and don't be under a myth i cannot eat that i cannot eat that or ask your doctor if you have a doubt the doctor can suggest you much better rather asking someone else outside so eat whatever you like just don't eat papaya that's the one thing which you should not eat during your pregnancy don't eat papaya uh, apart from that i have been eating every other thing i have not stopped whatever i used to eat earlier i am eating uh, till date those things so yes there will be a video which will be coming up where i will be telling you uh, what you like what i generally eat and wh what is the reason why we eat all that so that's all i hope you got some help basically these three videos i did just to tell you what can happen in the trimesters because a lot of people are unaware of things so that is why i just made this because i wanted to share my thoughts and views mine is really going well so i'm really happy and you just be happy and forget about everything in this world just uh, wait for the happiness so i'm just waiting for the happiness so take care of yourself anything you can ask me through your comments and if i don't end up replying just imagine or if just guess it that i'm really busy or i am in something in middle so i will not be very much active to reply you but anything important definitely i will reply you so take care of yourself and be healthy bye bye